small nook for your books or an entire wall to display your collection, built-in bookshelves are a stylish storage solution that adds beauty and value to any home. We're going to take you through the steps to build your own built-in bookshelves for a room in your home. We'll start by measuring the space for the bookshelves. Measure the area for your shelves, from the floor to the base of the molding, and then account for the height of the molding. Then take the measurement and subtract one inch. Walls are rarely plumb, and the corners are seldom square. Measure the width at the top, middle, and the bottom. If they are not the same, not to worry. The shelf width will be based on the shorter measurement. Subtract two inches from the shortest measurement to account for the thickness of the side panels and trim. This final number is the width of the shelves. Move furniture out of the room and then lay out the drop cloths to protect your floors. Use a utility knife to cut into the seal and pop off the molding and baseboard carefully. You can repeat the same process for wall features like wainscoting. Use a stud finder to mark where the wall studs are located. Cut two pieces of 1x12 to the height of your vertical side panels. Then six pieces of 1x12 to the proper measurements for your horizontal shelves. Next, cut two pieces of 1x2 to your vertical measurements. Finally, cut six pieces of 1x2 to your horizontal measurements and subtract 1.5 inches. These will be your face plates on the built-in shelves. Place the side pieces together to make marking easier. Mark one inch below where the crown molding will rest on the front edges of the side panels. Then mark one inch above where the top of the baseboard will rest on the front edges. Use a square to mark a line from the front edges and down the front of the side panel. Now it's time to decide the placement for the shelves. Mark lines on the edges of the side pieces for the spacing of the shelves of your preference. Use a square to mark lines down the front of the boards. Align the bottom shelf next to the vertical side panel. Apply wood glue to the horizontal edge and hold it in place against the side panel at the marked line. Then use a nail gun to secure the side panel to the horizontal shelf. Repeat the process with the remaining shelves. Stabilize and reinforce the shelves by drilling pilot holes and securing them with screws. Then align the second side panel next to the shelf pieces. Apply glue to the horizontal shelf edges, then push the side panel into place. Lastly, secure them together with a nail gun and screws like we did on the other side. Make sure the shelf is face down for attaching the back. Apply wood glue to the edges of the horizontal and vertical pieces on the back side of the shelf. Place the cut piece of plywood on the back side of your shelving unit. Using a square, extend the lines that mark the shelves around the back of the plywood. Then use a nail gun to secure it by nailing it to the back of the shelf edges of the horizontal and vertical pieces. Turn the unit over when done. Now your pieces of 1x2 will attach the front edge of your two vertical side pieces and six horizontal shelves. Attach the face plate strips with wood glue and a nail gun. Slide the shelf into the space. Then screw the shelf into the studs. Install trim pieces to blend with the existing molding and baseboard using a nail gun. Secure a piece of 1x2 to fit vertically between the crown molding, baseboard, or wainscoting. Now paint your shelf with a color that fits in your space. Let it dry for 24 hours. Now all that is left is to decorate. That is all it takes to transform your space. Now you can sit back and enjoy your new built-in shelves. Here's a list of tools and materials to take on this project like a pro. Good luck and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.